We have more breaking news with another significant update on the future of the Arizona Coyotes. It sounds like significant progress has been made to sell the team and relocate them to Salt Lake City starting next season. We'll discuss what we've learned coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As you can see, I'm currently in my car. I got seen this breaking news here. Didn't want to wait too long to get the news out because uh, it's pretty significant here. So as we reported earlier, there's already been um, some updates around the NHL today regarding you know the league working on two separate schedules and all the other stuff going on that we've learned about um, you know the real real possibility of the Coyotes having to relocate to Salt Lake City next year. Well, there's been another update just in the past you know, 20, 30 minutes here from DFO's Frank Valley. Again, Frank's been all over this story, indicating that significant progress has been made between the NHL, the Arizona Coyotes, and Ryan Smith Entertainment Group for the team to be sold and moved to Utah and Salt Lake City starting next year, the 24-25 NHL season. Uh, so it, he says this information came from an updated memo that went out to the NHL Board of Governors. So clearly that... It's pretty significant if they're updating, um, you know, the other invested owners here around that situation with that level of information. That's pretty, uh, pretty significant. Now, ESPN, uh, Greg Wyshynski and Emily Kaplan have been uh, reporting on this as well. They're indicating right now that they're hearing that this very well could be like a two prong approach. It could be a case where the team is sold to the NHL, so the NHL would take over possession. This would be the second time they've owned the franchise. They would buy the team from Alex Marullo for approximately a billion dollars. And then they would turn around and sell the team to the Ryan Smith Entertainment Group out of Salt Lake City for around $1.3 billion approximately. And then what would happen was the billion dollars would be the franchise fee for purchasing it. The 300 million part, the 0.3 part, would be the relocation fee that would be distributed to the other NHL owners. So... It sounds more and more likely here. If this is reaching this significant of uh, levels of negotiations, now Frank also indicates in his report that the deal is not done, that it's complicated. There's many layers to go through, many lawyers involved on all sides, and it you know it's hard to say exactly when we'll have a conclusion to this. Um, he had indicated in the report this morning, now his other report, saying that a, an announcement could possibly come as early. As April 18th, once the regular season's completed and the Coyotes have played their final game at Mullet Arena. Now, as I said before, you know, June 27th is a long ways off for that auction. There's a lot of obstacles in front of them to win the auction and prepare the land and build an arena. You're looking at at least three years. I think it'd be four years myself. There's a lot of pressure between the NHLPA's leader, Marty Walsh, and the other board of governors that they don't want to wait that long. It's, uh, you know, at the very least, or I would suspect that they possibly examine the, the options of maybe relocating temporarily, but that's not really ideal either. Um, to be honest, with all this going on in the background, obviously things were clearly more advanced than we, you know, the, it's not like this would have just started today. The fact that the Coyotes putting out all those renderings and selling all the hope that they've been on social media, a little bit surprising, but for the first time out of all this, the NHL and the team are quiet and are not commenting on the story. Whereas every other time there's been anything to suggest that it wasn't going to work out, they were quick to respond and to uh, to call the the story false and you know kind of reissue their commitment to stay and make it work. And well, that didn't happen this time, and they had their opportunity. So to me, this looks like it's not a done deal. But it's pretty close, and I wouldn't be surprising surprised here in the very near future if we're reporting the relocation of the Coyotes. Now, as we said before, the NHL doesn't want to give up on this market. This is a market that is very viable with the right situation, the right owner, and the arena in the right location. And I do think they'll make another go at this, and I wouldn't be shocked if they do negotiate a clause in there that Alex Marullo will get basically an option and first dibs to reactivate the Coyotes' name and get an opportunity to get a franchise through expansion uh, when the NHL goes through that process, which is hard to say, but probably the next few years. Um, wouldn't be surprised if they open the expansion process as early as this summer. That's you know not a given, but that's just my personal opinion on that. So we will see. 
but that's a pretty significant update again from Frank, Frank Star Valley today was two big um, major updates on the future of the Coyote. So it sounds like they're leaving. Uh, I feel bad for Coyotes fans. I feel bad for a lot of the staff of the Coyotes that either can't or won't go with the team. Uh, I know there's a lot of uncertainty around all that. There's lots that we can learn. There's lots of layers, like I said, and it's not a given that this is going to happen. So don't take this as, you know, a for sure thing. But every time we get a report, it's more and more likely. So Fair Valley is also reporting that some Coyotes players are being told that there is a verbal agreement in place already for the sale of the team and the relocation to Salt Lake City. Now, he also mentioned that there was some pushback confirming that intel in those reports. So that may not be the case just yet, but it seems like he's saying things are definitely far down the track here. And it seems like it's, like I said before, very, very likely to uh, to take place. So uh, curious to see how the players and everybody's feeling. Um, but yeah, players are, are asking questions, being told they're as far along as a verbal agreement. That is extremely significant progress to have this team relocated for next year. Let me know your thoughts on how this is going to play out. Should they get another opportunity for an expansion team? Um, should it be the same owner that gets that opportunity? Let me know what you think and... Um, update on the story and we'll be of course reporting more on this as we learn more so stay tuned we'll keep you up to date on this story and everything else around the nhl thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you next time